Okay. Lucky pl prisoners had window in their cells. They ended up something. Cool. And we're back. Back already? Seems like you've been having a rough time of it. Have you noticed how things seem to change each time you pass through? One could get to thinking that the island's alive. It's quite ridiculous, wouldn't you say? Dead man's bag contains some of the money that I had last time, which I don't immediately have like a good use for. And I have got pure garbage. So we'll try the shield this time around. Yeah, unfortunately those Candineer guys, I've never been good at fighting. They're awkward to like move around and fight. Uh, and so they oftentimes like will just stun lock me instead of vice versa and yada yada yada. This is not going to be a, one of those like instant mastery roguelikes where I can just like breeze through the end. It's gonna take a while. Plus I'm more of a, an ability user in this game. Right, I forgot I can block. I should probably utilize that. I should probably also start investing in that blacksmith. I don't know which I'm going to prioritize first, though. We'll see how it goes. But yes, as usual, the uh, the difficulty does kind of crank up like crazy uh, the moment the moment you beat beat that first boss. Look, the first couple areas are challenging enough, but. Then you get to the, the docks and it's just like, or docks? No, the, the village. And it's just scary there. And anyway, we got the firebrands. I like the firebrands. They're effective. Awkward to use, don't get me wrong. But I love the, I love the fire effects in this game. They did that part really well. Burn for me. Did they ever add a proper fire sword in this game? No, they added the, uh, the oil sword. Which I guess is about the same, if you mix them together and stuff. That's gonna be... ...tough to work. I'm glad this one chucks a dagger. It's a little bit of extra, like, immediate front-end damage, so I can let the... so the fire kills him quicker. Let's see. I would love to play one of these games at some point that plays maybe a little bit closer. Duplex bow. Or two arrows at the same time. Also comes with uh, burning. That might be kind of interesting. Do we try it? I've never tried the duplex bow. Let's give it a go. Let's try more of an archer... Archer... Um... I forgot how to roll for a moment there. I was immediately pressing the bumper like a, a fool. Enjoy my burning! I like the, I love the looks of everything in this game. Whoever they had uh, on the art definitely outdid themselves. Uh, let's see. Which of the enemies you have trouble with? The Cannoneers. The cannoneers are the, the ones that uh, kick my ass. Because... They, uh... The range on those shots is... Mean. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye out for those secrets. And yes, I do know about Twitch integration. However, it currently doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I can test it again, but I, I linked my account. So... By all accounts, I should have Twitch integration totally functional here. Uh, it's not currently functioning, so I, I have no idea. Okay, do we go to the promenade to the condemned? Nah. Nah, I'd rather go to the toxic sewers. I think we have to get our next um, move, movement tech, shortcut tech, over there anyway. Let's see, it worked for the other stream, I know. Okay, weird. I'll have to... Uh, I might, I might just uh, take a look and see if I can re-authenticate it uh, between sessions. It's working for a bunch of other streamers. Hmm. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I did have a slight distraction in the middle of me trying to set up the proper integration, and uh, and it, uh, it might have not linked at the time. It said it was active, like straight up. 
says, yeah, Twitch account connected, Wanderbot, activate the integration. I've got the uh, Captain Chicken turned off because that's scary for me. Uh, I guess I can turn on community codecs, see if any of these happen. I guess we can turn on comments for a second, see if that, that triggers. Is there anything that stays with you when you die in this? A little bit of your money and any upgrades that you purchase. There's nothing... There aren't a whole lot of, like, tangible, physical upgrades, but this. This is the... These are the permanent. This is the meta progression. Uh, which I actually really enjoy. So let's get the, uh, blood sword. I don't think I'm gonna use it on this run, though. Let's grab the infantry bow. Okay. Cause bleeding. I mean, it's good, but I... I'm committed to what I've got here. Hey, you there! I work for the blacksmith. I can patch up your gear for cheap. I'm not really supposed to be here, though. You know. Let's just keep it between us, okay? Right. Come on, then. Let's see how much you got on you. Okay, so reforge modifiers. Upgrade to plus quality. Reforge modifiers. Ooh. Victims burn. Okay, what does that do? Firebrand, firebrands to plus. Well, I'm going to spend my money to upgrade both of these just to see. So, oh, does that one... Hard to say how you could reforge a grenade or a bow with a tool like that. Very slipshod, very slipshod game design. That's funny. Okay, so combo, no. Cooldown, no. I mean, I don't have anything. Ammo for your weapons might not be a bad idea. Let's do that, seeing as I'm using, using this weapon for the time being. Let's see. Yeah, I'd love to see, like, a uh, Assault and Sanctuary roguelike kind of in this style. Something a little bit slower with, uh... I just like being able to go, like, slow and block and tank and stuff like that. Hey, you! Come here a second. Ah, a little slow. But you seem to understand what I'm saying. I lost a... Uh, I mean my rune. You see, I'm a little stuck. I need my rune. You wouldn't mind finding it for me, would you? Oh, thank you. It's somewhere around here in the sewers. On your side of these bars. Bring it back to me quick. It's all going to be mine. But yeah, I like I like how tongue-in-cheek things are. I mean, this is very much as... Uh, whoop, whoop. Uh, this is very much one of those, like, games that I'm... I've been very appreciative of. The, uh... Ah! Okay. Oh, I hit the... I'm a moron. I hit the, uh... <laughs> I hit the heal button and the usability, uh, usability. This is gonna take a little bit of time. Odd kind of place, though, no matter how much you look at it. Imagine this will be a sight to behold when you and the Collector have it, have lit all the flasks up. You're working on it, aren't you? Obviously, you're chipping away at it, like all the others. This was a cool sight. When I first saw these, I thought I'd be able to, like, bust them open and bring them with me, but no dice. Okay, so we could try the daily, but I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Like, bad. This'll, this'll take a little while. It does feel like it's, uh, it's balanced a little bit more on the immediately, uh, hard. Uh, than it used to be. I don't remember going to the toxic sewers and getting utterly stomped like that. But I think I had a lot more HP in previous, uh, in previous versions. I could be wrong. Not that it really matters too much. I, I guess it's, it's nice to play a roguelike where, where death does not necessarily, uh, reset you totally back to the beginning. It, it's nice to be able to, you know, keep buying these little upgrades and so on and so forth. Because you can say like, yeah, okay, fine. I go back, but I get more cells this time around, yada yada yada. And then eventually, eventually, I'll be good to go. This is gonna take forever. Okay, I'm not gonna make the mistake and grab the hammer this time. It probably is gonna do more more damage than my My bear traps. But I uh I don't care. Ow? Okay. 
I didn't know you... I, I must have been, like, right about to slip in front of him. Uh, which is how I got hit. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Uh, there's no uh, enemy-friendly fire in this game. I was really hoping... I was really hoping they'd blow up. I know that would be, like, kind of broken nonsense if they could kill each other. But it'd be so satisfying. Uh, if you could actually, like, bait the bomber dudes into bombing out, like, their allies. I don't know. I'd really enjoy that. Oh, I'm terrible at spotting secrets. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I can get up in here, can't I? The tunnel is cleared out very roughly. It doesn't look too solid. Canvas bag. A dusty old bag that someone left here a long time ago. And we get la baguette. And a tight passage. The hole in this wall is extremely small. Except for maybe a child. I don't know if that's supposed to be uh, implying that we get child mode at some point. I'd play that. Big head mode, child mode. Child mode, you're small, you do less damage, but you're harder to hit. Big head mode is just stupid. Every game needs a big head mode. Even if it does not make a single lick of sense. Like, I'm actually really disappointed stuff like big head mode has just kind of been phased out of games. Like, N64 era was such a golden age of, like, weird cheat codes and stuff, and I kind of miss it. Let's see. I honestly can't tell you which one I should go with. Let's go survival just for the raw HP for the moment. Sometimes it's better to just be able to weather a couple of hits than anything else. Uh, let's see. 64 era was just a golden era in general. Kind of. It had its it had its ups and downs. There was a lot of bloatware and it's like the internet was still kind of a burgeoning thing, uh, so you didn't really have a whole lot of, like, adequate review systems or, like, I want to say accountability. Hey, Bloodsword. Like, straight up, I loved, uh, I loved a lot of N64 games, but I'd go into GameStop and I'd be like, let's try out this game today. And then it was just garbage, and I was just like, oh, that was a waste of cash, and my parents are like, well, that was your game rental for the, uh, for the month. Okay, these shield guys turn around maybe a little bit too fast now. I used to be able to run behind them and stuff, but now it just feels like they immediately turn right back around. Game has a nice soundtrack. It does. It gets a little repetitive after a while just because, like... You kind of go through the same levels over and over and over again as you die relentlessly. But that's how it works, I guess. Oh, is this? Oh, this is the way to the toxic sewers. Is there anything that I care to grab? Nope, not really. No, you could actually say that, like the SNES area era was just as much of a golden age as the N64 era was. It, realistically, I think the only era I would say that was not necessarily a golden era was the Wii, because good God, there was so much like weird bloatware. And that was still kind of between the... Uh, let's see, do we even want the infantry bow? No, well, hmm. Realistically, I'd like this one. I could do recycling. Let's actually get... Let's go for recycling. More money. Seems like a good idea. Rubbish. Bits and pieces of weapons and armor. Hey, I recognize some of this. Har. Okay. Reforged modifiers. I'll take that. Okay, so we could also refine these, but I'm probably not going to use them. Combo, cooldown time on grenades. No. I think I'm just going to grab Necromancy. I don't know if it's a good idea. Oh, that's cute that he hides in the bag. I like that. 
But yeah, we've definitely... It, it's interesting. We've kind of come around. So back in the SNES and the N64 era, there used to be a lot of games, a lot of utter garbage, too. You know, games that were produced on the cheap to capitalize on some new trend and stuff like that. And it's interesting that we've actually kind of come full circle. There was a there's a period probably post uh you know post introduction of 3D as a, a primary um Oh, there's there's a pipe up here for this. But the introduction of 3D I think drove the costs up. People didn't want 2D as much. And so, uh, so developers couldn't just put out as much bloatware as they used to. You still got some, but a lot of it was, like, you know, real cheap stuff on the Wii. Uh, but you didn't have a whole lot of indie studios as much. You know, it got too expensive for that sort of thing. And then somewhere along the way, the actual indie trend picked up, you know, kind of the late 2000s, early 2010s, and then it's kind of exploded into, well, what it currently is. I actually kind of love that, because... You know, it's made my job a lot easier. It's like, hey, I need a new game to play. How about one of this dozen or so games that I'm currently... Uh, I, I currently have sitting in my inbox. Seriously, I've got I've got so many games, I don't know what to do with them anymore. It's a weird feeling. I love it, but it's confusing. Um, and so, like, I would say that this this right now is probably the most golden age of gaming. It's just a lot of people have nostalgia goggles. Uh, it's just, it's easy to, uh, what the, why am I like, why do I have crazy after image going on now? Yeah. Don't think, don't think I can get that one. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I think the, the biggest thing, as far as people are concerned when it comes to, uh, you know, golden age this, golden age that, is actually fatigue. I, I think there's too many games, to some degree, coming out, and so nobody knows what to do with them. Uh, and it, it's actually, like, kind of bewildering. It's just like, okay, well, here's all of the games that are coming out this year. Most people aren't ever going to play more than, like, a small handful of that, and then the rest are just going to get ignored. So, like, God of War was fantastic, and, like, for some people, they're still making their way through that. And then you've got stuff like Persona 5 and Octopath, and it's like, okay, here's, like, the latest and greatest in JRPG. And that's, like, uh, latest and greatest in JRPG, and that's, like, 100 hours long or something like that? <laughs> and, like, some, that, some people, like, don't have the time to just, like, make it through all these games so that that's just their game uh, I was really hoping I could ow I was really hoping I could roll through that but there's a little bit of cooldown on it chaining roll boop. chaining rolls is uh not easy it'd be kind of neat if there was an upgrade that actually facilitated that That could have gone bad. Never actually played a Persona game. They're good, but they are maybe too long for their own good. Like, I, I played through the entirety of Persona 5, and it was it was fun, don't get me wrong, but it was like... By the end of it, I was just like, please, please just be done. I, I, would, like to, I would like to go home and see my wife and children. Please. hoping I'd be able to get him with a bear trap, but to be fair, you played it on easy. I mean, yeah, but like, playing it on a harder difficulty does not make it shorter. <laughs> Might make it a little bit more, like, tactically demanding, but it doesn't make it any shorter. The only game that gets shorter if you play it on a higher difficulty is freaking Metro, which is awesome. More games need to be like Metro. I'm waiting for my bear trap to come back. There it is. God damn it. There it is. Okay, gonna be over here. Ow! Whoa! Hi. Get him with a the bleed. Then freaking run. 
He doesn't chase too well on straightaways. Okay, there we go. Okay, got him. And heal up. Okay, Kunai, Victim's Burn, Bleeding, sure. Let's go with this. Unfortunately, Kunai is a uh, int weapon, and I have not bumped a whole lot of points into this. Water, you don't have a wife or a child yet. Oh, I have a fiancé. I think, I think that counts. When uh, the the primary was today in Kansas, I'm not going to talk about politics. I'm just going to talk about standing there and waiting for her to finish voting. Uh oh, which really wasn't that big of a deal, but it felt awkward because you know there's kind of the implicit like not suspicion, but it's like you know don't do anything weird on election day because that's 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 how you you know. That's how somebody calls the cops, that's that's how you get in trouble, who knows? I don't know. I just don't want to do anything, like, weird on election day, because who knows what kind of, like, uh, people are going to get suspicious of you, or if they're going to yell at you, or whatever. So I'd, I'd finished voting, and I was just sitting there awkwardly waiting uh, for Shell to finish voting, and I'm just like, this is a small area, and I'm just, like, awkwardly standing here. I felt weird. I'm, I'm sure it was not actually, like, a problem. But, uh, you know. It's just how it felt. It was strange. Whoops. So what's the color system in this game? I should probably talk about that. Okay, so there's there's uh, three colors. Red, purple, and green. Each, uh, so red is brutality. It's kind of your melee stat. Green is your toughness stat. And purple is int, which is mostly for abilities, ranged weapons, and the occasional uh, melee. 50% extra damage to a poison target. Yeah, I'd rather have the firebrands over the throwing knives. I love throwing knives, but they're not that helpful for what I'm doing. Let's see, fiancé uh, counts as wife, but not child. But what if fiancé also is child? No. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm currently all on, uh, all on red. Ah! Yep. That went bad. Ah! Shell flicked me for that one. No, I, I, I said that and I was just like, wait a second. That was bad. No, it is creepy. Uh, I, I was thinking in terms of, like, uh, I, I had to, uh, Grumble at Shell because she wasn't doing her chores today. Because uh, she was like, "I'm thirsty. I don't want to. I don't want to wash uh, wash the dishes today." And I was like, "No, we got to. Like, it's starting to get gross in here." And then I was like, "Wait a second. No, that sounds like super bad." <laughs> oh well. But I I don't know. I mean, I'm a giant baby, so who am I to uh, call anybody childlike? We grab the grenade. Hell yeah, we grab the grenade. Uh, I mean, I, I straight up play video games for like 10 hours a day. I am, I am like, every, every child's dream as far as like, employment goes. Well. Grenades akimbo. I gotta remember to actually use them though. Alright, uh, there's another grenade over here. It's a frost grenade this time. But yeah, when the slob says it's getting gross, it's getting gross. Mm-hmm. Like, I I generally try and keep my apartment fairly, fairly clean. Uh, it's tough, though. Like, there's a... There's a lot that goes into not just, like, living in, in complete squalor. I know that sounds really stupid, but, like... I don't know. It's... It's easy to get, like, uh... Hello? There's no one. It's easy to get, like, swamped. When it comes to work and whatnot. Electric whip. Automatically targets nearby enemies, ignores shields. Under one DPS. I'd rather this over that. Do I get it over the firebrands? No. It's not very good.
Can I can I switch these? Yeah. Because yeah, I want to be using my uh, using and abusing my my fire moves as much as possible. Right. I gotta remember. Grenades are uh, are a thing. What is this one? Ah! Ah! I forgot about the. I forgot about those. Have fun with all the burning. Thank you. Okay, we could get a greed shield, but I don't even really use the the shields, admittedly. Okay, so we need this. Uh, pick one and recycle it. I actually don't have recycling yet. Uh, I know we get more HP with this, but I think I'm gonna go green, just to increase my, uh, vampirism skill. Nope. Oh, nope. Can make this. Grimoire. Research notebook. It's becoming increasingly difficult to collect mold samples in these sewers. There are too many revenants. <laughs> Mushrooms. Mushrooms collected from all over the sewers. I was hoping I could eat one. But no dice. Unfortunately, uh, in life I've realized I do kind of lack the... Uh, I do kind of lack like a, a personal filter. Uh, and I'm pretty damn good at avoiding saying like weird stupid shit that could probably get me in trouble. Sometimes it's tough though. Uh, and, like, I don't even think about it. I'm just like, what's something stupid that I could say in this exact situation? And then, like, after a little bit, I'm like, wait a second. That was real bad. Never mind. Don't do that. Aha! There you are. It's here. The... My rune. It's just a bit further in. What? Not at all. Nothing to worry about. After coming this far, you'll make sure short work of all that. So, off you go. So your character is likely a mushroom. Why would he eat the mushrooms? That's a good point. I don't know. Mushrooms, probably semi caramelized but no, uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Do we? We should probably drink. This is an elite enemy. Whatever kind of enemy it is. Oh, crap! I'm real bad at fighting this guy. But that's okay. I don't have to fight him. I think he used to have like a much more jerkish arena, but that might have been the other location. Okay. So now I can warp. Whee! And get out of there. Oh, the map even shows you how uh, the teleport runes connect together, which is nice. Yeah, so I think after this run, let's, uh, let's see if I can get... Uh, is this even worth it? Not really. Wolf trap. Nope, same deal. It does spl spread flammable oil. Oh, is it better than... I mean, the wolf trap has definitely been helpful. Let's grab it. Especially because flammable oil might actually work. What about the guy that asked it, asked me to get the rune? Eh, screw him. Let's go talk to him, though. There's no one there. Oh. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's see. So that that's the time door. Can't do anything about it. Oh, we had the croissant. I don't know if I can go to the ancient sewers. Maybe. No, we need the we need the orange rune first. Boss grenade. Uh, let's see. As far as level design and like roguelikes go, even though this isn't the, you know, the uh, roguelike or Metroidvania that like a robot named Fight exactly is, uh, I will say, hey, thank you, Cryoris, for the sub. Uh, yeah, this might not be the. Uh, there's recycling. It's recycling one. Ugh, recycling 2 is going to take forever to get. Do I get... I could get the fire grenade. 
Got the fire grenade. I like it. It's good. And let's grab the infantry bow. Okay, so we have a fire grenade three. Let's take that instead of the infantry grenade three. And recycle it. Okay, reforge modifiers. Extra damage for to a poison target. Could upgrade it. Extra damage to a burning target. That's good. Sp spreads flammable oil. I could upgrade some some of these if I wanted wanted to. Especially, oh wait, no, we're going to the ramparts next. That's an interesting question. I'd almost reforge the firebrands. Let's upgrade the firebrands because I'm using them a bunch. And reforge that. That's that's worthwhile. Let's go with that. Who knows? I do like the reforge system. Oh. Oh, mutations available. Uh, efficiency or fireworks technician, both are pretty good. Just get the 30% extra HP. I don't need it immediately, though. Let's go for the 38% HP. I'm not as durable as I'd like to be. I'm never as durable as I'd like to be. Okay, I think you can have up to what? Four modifiers? I think it's four. Okay, once some poor sod tried to climb over the ramparts, he died of exhaustion during the climb. I really wish it was actually one of those where you'd press A to continue. Because I want to read that lore. I, there might be a place to actually see the lore. Have fun with all the burning! Burning, poison, it's all good. Enjoy my stank clouds, and stank grenades, stank everything. Stank you, buddy. Yeah, cause uh, throwing, those, throwing those bear traps down puts oil on the ground as well. It'd be great if, uh, if I could actually get the firebrands to chuck oil as well. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. But the other reason why I like the firebrands is it completely destroys the uh, the shield dudes. Like they're not. Oh wait, those are mine. What is that? I haven't seen that one before. Okay, blueprint acquired support. Oh, these are these are for the like relic abilities ish. We'll see. Okay, poison targets. Nah. Or freezes targets, extra damage to poisoned ones. Not really that interesting into this. Fortunately, the fire does not affect these guys as much as I would like, but that's that's fine. Enjoy burning. I hope I hope you enjoy burning as much as I enjoy burning you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to get the uh, the upgrades that actually uh, <laughs> the upgrades that actually uh, reduce the cooldowns. I don't know. I really like the abilities in this game more than I like the melee combat. I think it's because the melee combat is just a little bit punishing. What was the point of coming up here? <laughs> I. I I don't see any secrets. Then again, I'm really bad at spotting the secrets. I straight up might get a mod that makes it a little bit easier. Okay, yeah. That's nine minutes ago. There's there's not even a point to using those speed doors. 
I mean, there is for other people. It's not me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, we should probably do red damage just because... certainly uh increases my own though i have i i still stand by the uh the thing that i heard where it's not actually worth it uh to level up your own damage or level up at all that the enemies uh the enemies actually scale better than you do uh when it comes to finding scrolls and levels and stuff which is just a bit of a darn shame i don't know i uh i guess i understand why they'd have the the scaling system uh, so that you can't, like, accidentally out-level the enemies, but they all if they out-level you when you level up... Uh, might not be that big of a deal. Might actually be something that they've properly uh, rebalanced for the 1.0 version. Or maybe, maybe they still do just uh, scale faster than you, and it's just a matter of, like, an illusion of progress. I hate... I, I will admit I hate games that do that. The illusion of progress is such a, uh, such a, like... Miserable experience sometimes. Ow. Oh, he didn't get bear trapped. I was like, yeah, I got them both trapped. No, I don't. It's fine. I'm, I'm getting uh, enough health back just fighting everything as I go by. The reflexes are garbo, old man. Yeah, they are. They're terrible. I used to have, like, some pretty snap reflexes when I was, like, really young. Not so much anymore. Now I usually just resort to cheap tricks. I mean, I can't. I, I think it's one of those where, like, uh, I think if I wanted to have, like, good reflexes for games like this, I would only play games like this. But because I play such a massive, wide, wide variety of uh, various games, it's, it's easy to get kind of, like, weirdly rusty just because, like, I, like, I'll play a game for, like, a couple hours. Like, I'll play this for, like, two hours today. And then maybe, like, a couple hours of, uh... Uh, oh shoot, what's the... What's the other game that... The other roguelike that I was gonna play? And who knows, maybe I'll bite the bullet and play some uh, robot named Fight. Seeing as I was talking about it. Just so I... You know. Well. Can like, use that as a proper, proper reference point. You can walk through the shield guys now. That's kind of nice, actually. You can't destroy the bats nearly as well as you used to be able to, though. Have some fire. I certainly can't get to you easy. There we go. But, uh... No, like, I will go from, like, one game to another. And... Arrows... Oh! Arrows struck in, stuck in enemies come back. That's pretty good. Moderate damage, extra damage to a burning target. All these would be good, but I think I'm just going to save my, uh... I think I'm just going to save my money. For now. Yeah. Oh, I'm not the old man. I'm an old man. Enough. I would, I'm old enough to bitch about my reflexes not being as good as they used to. Like, the idea of ever going back to finish Hollow Knight... And, like, all of this associated DLC is honestly terrifying to me. Like, that game was great. I loved Hollow Knight. But, oh, God. It was not easy. And... Going back for the, uh, going back for the DLC just does not sound like a pleasant experience. <laughs> I do not know what those candles are. Only one arrow hit the target. Right in the head. Oh yeah, somebody was shooting... Shooting here. Sign. Live target training. A supply of bows and arrows. Hmm? Okay, duplex bow? No. But yeah, if you notice, right in the head and then a whole bunch of misses. Prison's archers were really useless. Alright. So let's keep pumping pumping damage on that. It's not helping my health that much. 
I should probably invest in a little bit of purple just to balance myself out properly. Oh, candles note lore spots. Okay. Nope, nothing up here. Or down here. But yeah, so if, you know, even if I just play like a little bit of robot named Fight after this and, uh, you know, some other games, I'm just going to be just a little rusty. And... And it's like, uh, then coming back to this tomorrow, I'm going to be better than I was, but I still have that detractor of playing like another game. Junk, junk data, I guess, would be the like, I'm just going to be over here. Hey, sweet croissant. Uh, junk data will be the word I'm going to use for this, even though it's probably not like an accurate uh, assessment, but like, it is, it is easy to just kind of, like, uh, get kind of messed up going from one game to another and, like, not exactly have an easy time of it. Like, I dare you guys to play, uh, six games in a day and retain perfect mastery of all of them. <laughs> it's just, you can't. Like, it works for, like, uh, tactical games, you know, games that are slower. But, like, reflex-wise, it's worse when I'm actually playing very similar games. Games with, like, uh, control schemes that, uh, that match really well with each other, but are slightly different. Like, if, if I'm playing two action platformers and one has, like, a dodge button that's in, like, a, uh, if, like, the dodge button is, is different, I'll stop dodging with one of the games. I, like, I straight up can't, uh, uh, can't handle that. And it's, it's... A weird, unique problem that, like, I just never straight up even thought about. Until I started doing YouTube and stuff where I play, you know, five, six games a day, potentially. Okay, so we could go to the Black Bridge. Is there anything else? Uh, let's go up to, to the warp at the very least. Then again, uh, I do kind of pick it up quickly. I'm definitely doing better than I have been uh, this run. A grenade for this man. A grenade. Well, traps for you. I don't actually know if there's anything. Ah. Yeah. Oops, that didn't work. Oh, you know what? You know what does work? Perfect. Burning. Burning for you. What is even over here? Probably just like a level up scroll, maybe? Nothing? Huh. It's just an area. Aha. Stun grenade. I will take that gladly. Okay, do we have anything else? Uh, I can't get through there. I don't see any of the secrets. Time door. Alright, we're good. We can get out of here. Can you play modded Hollow Knight? I might. Um, I'm not... I'll have to take a look at it. I, I will admit, I'm waiting for all of the DLCs to come out with Hollow Knight. And I might play it modded. Uh, I've heard that there is a small modding community, but they're doing good things. But it's kind of one of those where it's like, I would rather wait for a game be finished before I like really start modding it like crazy. Nothing's more infuriating than playing like a modded game and then finding out my all of my mods broke overnight because the devs put out, like, a fairly basic patch. Okay, so what doesn't kill me? Oh, recovers HP after a parry. I don't know if that's a good idea. Anyway, so get the infantry bow. Uh, let's see, do we... Yeah, let's put it into gold reserves. Okay, so infantry bow. Crit at close range, 50% damage. Honestly, let's get that instead of the blood sword. Uh... The extra damage to, the, to a burning target seems like a good idea. But I'm not going to be using it that much. Okay, so we could reforge modifiers, put this to a plus. Or I can put both of these, all of these to a plus. 
Victims burn. Everybody burns. All right, you. 51% cooldown time on grenades. Yeah, that's that's better. Uh, let's see. Some mod changed the nail to do one damage, but upgrades a dash attack can be made. Huh. You know, it sounds like there's some neat, uh... It does sound like there's some neat, neat, uh, mods for Hollow Knight that I'd love to play. Okay, that's kind of dumb. So... Somebody had mentioned this. Uh, but apparently the boss can only take a maximum of 5% of their, uh, their health in damage. Which kind of sucks, actually. Because it means that, uh, the maximum amount of damage I'm going to be doing, oops, uh, with my infantry bow caps out? I don't know, it's not that big of a deal, I'm just looking at I'm like looking at that, I'm like, I'm supposed to do more damage than that, I think. So really the trick is to use like crazy damage over time effects. I'm also very glad they fixed the uh the oil grenade damage or oil damage in general. If I remember right originally if uh if you used oil Oops, well they get hit by that. Originally, the uh, the oil uh, would make it so the fire would only do like five damage or something like that. That was kind of that was kind of miserable. It was just like here's a neat mechanic. It was broken for like a while too. <laughs> oh, I like these bear traps. I I was not a fan of the bear tra trap originally, but now. I'm a, uh, I'm a believer in the bear trap. Ow. Cause I can, I pretty much can just stunlock him to oblivion. It's gonna be completely garbage against, uh, most other enemies, but whatever, I'll take it. Okay, and we get a better blood sword. And the recipe for the Impaler. Okay, so Blood Sword 3L. Tons of damage. Colorless. 1% of HP recovered per attack. Doubles damage taken. Damage to bleeding. Victims take damage. You know, I'm gonna try it. Get out of here, infantry bow. You're a cool idea. But let's let's try the uh vampirism sword that's probably going to get immediately get me killed. Yeah, still village is not my uh not my jam. I'm pretty bad at that one. So I can reforge modifiers? No. I could I don't know what these are, but yeah. Thousand. I wanna work on that one. That's the oil synergy has worked ever since I've been playing. It took them, I think, a month or two. Uh to really get that one fixed. Maybe it was less than that. But part of it is my my Oh, extra DPS if you're close to a deployed skill. That's kind of neat. Uh, okay, so my mutations are maxed out. You really can only have three? It'd be neat if there was a mod that actually made it so you had uh, you could get as many mutations as you wanted. I probably will get that mod if that, that becomes a mod. Um, so I did most of my previous series on this game in a very, very, like tight amount of time. Like, I think I played a shit ton of this when it first came out uh, and then slowly, like, petered down over the course of it. And, yeah, I mean, honestly, the, like, that's kind of how it works with every game. Oh! -ho! I'm not sure if the health steal is worth worthwhile. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm probably going to die here. Oh, time door. We even know about that. Yeah, I don't like those cannoneer guys. They wreck me, because uh, you can't stunlock them like most other enemies. And, like, I'm getting, like, one HP per hit. That's honestly not worth it. I guess we might as well drinky do. But it, it's much better for me to just go back to my uh, burn everybody ways than um, then try and rely. on uh, a Healy sword. Luckily, I've got uh, flame cheese. So I'm just going to use that. Okay. Extra damage on a burning target. Extra damage on a frozen target. Ton of, tons of damage. Honestly, I think I might get that... Yeah, I'm gonna get the infantry grenade over the um, the fire grenade at this point. The fire grenade's good, but I've already got plenty of other sources of fire. Being able to explode people with a grenade seems like it's probably going to be more helpful here. Okay, there we go. And fire is fire is working out in my favor. Uh, let's keep doing this. Only 10% HP though. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to mix it up and get purple. Hello. Oh, it's just the shopkeeper. Okay, and I have no money. I spent it all. That's okay. Uh, it's. I like those signs outside of the um, outside of the doors to let you know what's inside. I think that's I think that's actually a really nice system. And yeah, we're just going to we're just going to use and abuse the fact that I have fire magic. To solve my problems. Okay. Woohoo. I got him. I was hoping to bear trap him properly so I could uh, avoid things. It kind of sort of didn't it worked ish. Ish. All right. Can I? Nope, can't. I'm a moron. Well, that ah, that almost worked. It worked up until it stopped working. Okay, can I? Can I just drop a weapon? Cause yeah, I. Oh, this is a bad place to be. All oh, right, I can open this up. Suck a duck, Grandpa! You can't touch me. Give me some HP back. Yeah, that really doesn't help. If I was doing a thousand damage to hit uh, per hit, it might be worth something. Even then, though, like, yeah, one one percent life steal ain't worth a thing. Okay, so I can get through here. Another lore area statue. Another statue of the king, accompanied by a guard. And a very big one at that. A little too big, maybe. Oh yeah, it is a lore area. Interestingly enough, it actually pauses your timer when you're near lore zones. I kind of rather appreciate that. Okay, tons of fire all over the place. But yeah, I bet you could actually do some timer scum uh, if you're hanging out on a lore, lore statue doing most of, the, most of the fight. Okay, there we go. I'm, 
I'm having a good time with the, uh, with that grenade. I, I, can I be over here? There we go. I was not setting stuff on fire, it's too far away. It has to, like, actually hit the ground. Okay. Die. Dead. Yeah, never, ever going for the uh, lifesteal swords. They're not, they're not worth... I, I don't actually know a situation where they're worth it. Like, you'd pretty much have to be uh, in a position where you could never, where you never take a hit. 